YouTube Nation, my people from all over, welcome back to the show. And for everybody who's first time tuning in, please like, share, subscribe. What to do, y'all? Back at y'all with another one on a Wednesday morning. Yes, the Lakers lost last night, but it's all right. You know what I mean? I wasn't really expecting them to get the first win up there. You know, it's going to be tough. You know, you got to go up the mile high. That altitude is, you got to adjust to that. You know what I mean? Plus, you're playing the number one seed. Denver ain't no scrubs. You know what I mean? They ain't playing no scrubs. They playing the number one seed all le all season. So that's gonna be a tough one. It ain't gonna be like they gonna have a walk through the park like they gonna sweep something. No, they gonna get eventually gonna get taken to game seven. This might be the series to go to game seven. Do we get to the finals? That's a whole nother story. It depends on who we match up with. I, I personally love to see the Lakers in Boston again, but then again, I like to see the Lakers in Miami. That way LeBron go back and get go against his old squad. That'd be cool. I wanna see Jimmy Butler up in there too. So that'd be interesting. So, yeah, y'all, I was, uh, let me see. Oh, thank y'all for tuning in and checking out the video I did today. You know, I'm an outdoors type person. I like doing different shit like that. Just I'm just nature with it. You know what I mean? I like just I like to just get out. I done been in the city so much growing up and in prison so much. It's just like, it's so much love out here, so much beauty out here just to enjoy this shit. So I just be trying to get out and see stuff as you should, man. Just living life, man. That's why I'm a life coach because it's all about living your life, bro. Try to show you how to live your life. Just go out there and enjoy the simple shit. Have fun, man. Instead of just being that homie just stuck in the hood doing nothing, just posted in the spot all day and shit. Bro, just like, fuck it. it. All the time, you just go by the spot, the homie in the hood, he drank it or something, smoking on something, making a couple of swerves or whatever. But you just stuck in the hood and you, you ain't doing... Come on, man. Go... Get out, man. This is California, bro. We got all this shit out here. We got snow and sun and all this shit in the same day, bro. You go to the mountains, from Big Bear, come down, hit the beach, hit the beach, whatever, man. This is this is Southern California. It, it's, it's the weather is is lovely. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy this shit, cause when they take it away from your ass, you gonna wish you enjoy it. You know what I mean? This simple shit right here that I be trying to show people what I be doing, man. That simple shit has the most value. It has the most value. You appreciate it more than anything. You could be doing shit, strip clubbing and all that. That's fine. Okay. He, he, ha, ha, whatever. But then, then I bet if you did that one weekend, then the next weekend you went, let's just say you went fishing or something, or you went out to the lake and was on the boat, whatever. Down the line, when you sitting in that prison cell, you're going to sit back and think, when you gonna be like that shit was fun, niggas with all the bitches at the strip club, cause you gonna be you you gonna enjoy that you enjoy that story, sharing that story with the homies, but you gonna also enjoy sharing the other stories with the homies, like yeah, nigga, I was doing this kind of shit too, though, nigga, I was out there on some shit like that, get my grown man on, you know, that's how we talking. I like getting, I was out there, get my grown man, I get my grown man on, I was but just wasn't on no bullshit, you know what I mean? Niggas like to show, like to tell stories about us doing different type of shit. I didn't did it. So that's why I'm out here living it. I'm like, I didn't been up in there and said, told stories like, yeah, I went over here and did this, and I didn't went over here and done this. Because you sit up in prison cells, you tell stories all the time. You just be on it, just talking. You just, with your cell, y'all just on it like that. So, you know, that's, that's why it's easy for me to tell stories on this shit right here. It's just because I've been doing it for so long in prison and just on the streets, you know, gang banging. We all had a lot of stories to tell. We all told our experiences. We share our experiences. They doing it right now. In every hood right now, you got cats telling their experiences, telling you how they got dumped on last night or how they dumped on somebody last night or how they squabbled up and how they got this, that, and the other when they was in the joint or some shit. Everybody do it. We just doing it on YouTube now, you know what I mean? Taking it to the next level. That's all this shit is. We need to elevate it, y'all, because continue to elevate, man. It stops being stuck on stupid. Being stuck on stupid ain't going to do shit for us, but just keep us in the same place we've been in the past most of our life. We never get up out of that, that motherfucking, that rut. You gotta elevate, man. Do different shit. Cause when you do different shit, your mind open up. You see different shit. You fucking with different people. You ain't gotta be fucking with people that's just from the hood all the time, man. You gotta fuck with cats who don't bang, bro. You gotta fuck with people who just non-affiliate, just some cool cats. You got to have people like that in your life. That's that balance. When you don't have people like that in your life, you don't have that. You have only one type of people in your life. You are unbalanced, bro. You're unbalanced when you only got the homies in the hood. That's all you know is the hood life. 
You unbalanced, my nigga. You got to step outside of that and do some different shit. You got to get different friends. When you have a job, you're going to pick up different friends because you're working with different people and different people at your job asking you, let's go hang out on the weekend. Let's go up here. Let's go hunting and some shit like this. Go skiing. I mean, let's go ride some quads or some shit. That's different from the homies just saying, we finna slide over here on these niggas, cub. We finna push over here to the skate ring. We finna go to this function over here. Probably finna get into it with some niggas. You feel me? So, come on, man. Weigh that shit out, y'all. Look, let's look at life, man. Come on, man. Look at life. I'm putting it out there. I'm showing y'all. Look at life. You could be doing shit like this. And like, we finna go over here. Now, the whole time, check this out. The whole time, you finna slide with the homies inside. In your mind, you thinking like, damn, what if we get caught up? I might get fucked off. I catch a bunch of time. Any, get bunch of, catch a bunch of time. Anything can go bad. Right? But then you thinking, I could be doing this shit over here with the homies. The homies out there on the water, man. Fuck around with YC and them on the boats and shit. Money Deuce, them got their boats out, him and Lil' Pina, and I'm finna be fucking with the homies out there, Dulo and all the other homies with the boats and shit. I'm finna be out there with the homies and shit, or I'm finna be over here doing some shit like this. See, you got options, man. And when you don't when you don't weigh them options out, you just be stuck on doing shit, just like one way, you just stuck strictly just in the hood all the time. You're limited, man. You're just limited. That's all you know. Your mind is like this, bro. You haven't grown a bit. And let me say something, man. So this is this is why I really started this 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 video right here. This right this this is the point I was getting at. Get my coffee though. Got to kick that mud. These niggas over here working on some shit. That's the thing about living in the city, man. You get city work going on all around the crib and shit. You just be like, what the fuck? Look, this niggas out here with a jackhammer. You hear that? Got to get me some money and move out to the motherfucking. <laughs> Deep in the burbs, some motherfucker. Nah, I'm somewhere good where you hear no noise. Like, cause it, this shit, man. If it ain't this, is the helicopter around this motherfucker? Been a lot of shootings and shit lately, man. It's just, you know, niggas is acting up, man. This is always something, bro. But trip this. This is the point I was getting at. This is why this 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 is why I made this video for y'all. Uh, you know, I drink, man. You know. And I've been drinking a long time. Most of my life I've been drinking. No, no, because I've been in prison. When I was in prison, I, I, I said my last term, I didn't drink at all. On that 21 stride, I didn't drink shit but coffee and shit. Coffee and water and shit. But no pruno, no white lightning, none of that shit. I didn't fuck with it. But, but uh, we got to stop this, y'all. For everybody that drank, man. We got to stop getting faded and feel like Turn up. I mean, I mean, not turn up in a. You can turn up in a good way. Be like chilling, like you know. I turn up. We, we kick it. Hey, we, we, we chilling like that. We go, whatever, right? But when you turn up, you just get mad. You just want to all of a sudden fights and start shit, man. What? what come on. Then you just got. You just. What the fuck is that? So I was having a conversation with my homie Levi. Shout out to the homie Levi and the whole crush movement out there in the city of Inglewood. And he was just talking about that. We said, man, why do people? Do that? Why you think people do that? They get drunk and they just nigga, what? Cause he can what? Do that? You know, you, they become that dude and shit. Or what blood? What? You know, like not just with the ops, but just with their own folks. Just like you know, niggas is chilling. We at we here smoking, drinking, whatever. And then somebody just like, damn, why the complex? Why you? Why he get so upset? Why he so animated? Why still niggas? In they fifties and shit, I don't get that niggas fifty plus niggas still acting like that. Why? And homie said because a lot of people, bro, hold on to a, a lot of animosity behind things that's unresolved from the past. Things you never never resolved in the past. Certain things and it just still be in them, and it just be like pissing them off all the time. And like some stuff we supposed to outgrow, y'all. We just gotta like we just gotta let some shit grow. We get to a certain point, man, certain age, man. When we live in our life, we got to let shit go. We can't be holding on to these grudges and shit and we trying to move forward. Because that's weight, homie. That's just weight on our shoulders. That's just like, man, that shit put a nigga down, bro. Nigga got to like, nigga, fuck that shit. Nigga, nigga, that's just back in the day, whatever you had. You know, it, it's, it's just like that with family members. Everything, you know, siblings, people just be having grudges, and they and you could be you could be at a family function, right? 
like they make all these these shows, Roscoe Jenkins and all them type joints, right? And people be like, you could be with the whole fam, everybody here having the dinner and all that. But then you got this uncle, he ain't feeling this uncle and they brothers, and he been holding on to some shit. Now he didn't got drunk and we all chilling, everybody having a good time. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know, we get this bounce on and shit, right? <laughs> Y'all gotta excuse me because I'm just picturing one of my uncles high beat dancing and shit. That's why I had, had a moment. I had a little cool little moment. But yeah, the niggas, like, you know, I don't give a fuck, motherfucker. Yeah, they want to fuck you too, nigga. You know, what the fuck? <laughs> This shit, this shit happens like this. Or, or it come to the point to where the nigga, somebody just be feeling like they just too hard. You know, you got that homie who just be like, you know, he just like, he all serious and shit. Everybody was having a good time. Like, he all serious. Like, he can't joke. He can't do nothing. He just like posted. Like, he just like. <laughs> y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all, we all know somebody like that. Like, homie, have a drink. It's, 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 relax, my nigga. See, drink to be sociable, man. To loosen up. I mean, just just to chill, not to just act a fool, man. Not to let the shit bring out the worst in you. You know what I mean? I know I, I didn't have my moments, you know, in the past. You know, I didn't had little moments, but not consistent. Like I'm not I'm not one of the homies who who my homies gonna tell you like a nigga crazy gonna get to drinking, that nigga get to tripping. No, nah, they'll never tell you that about me. They just they say that nigga be getting faded. They, they might say some shit like that, but uh. They don't even say too much. Well, they'll say that, yeah, but thanks that nigga get the tripping. I ain't never had that kind of reputation. You know what I mean? I know homies who do got that reputation. This nigga's drinking, cuz niggas finna start tripping. This nigga's wigging out, nigga. <laughs> Here we go again. You know what I mean? But every hood got that, man. And it's cause, I don't know, y'all. We gotta do better. We gotta stop that, man. We we we, we drank the chill. We especially, especially we get the we we like 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 we didn't came together like like I said, even the family, right? Everybody then got together for this occasion to have a good time. Not to be over here fighting this shit, you know what I mean? We family, not to be over here breaking up moms in the house, nigga. Come on, man. Fucking up shit. Niggas in the hood do that shit, and next thing you know, niggas are getting it. Man, come on, man. We When you're here for an event or to come together, a gathering, to break bread, it's supposed to be loved ones. Man, come on, man. You can get faded without, you know, want to trip with each other and shit. But we do that so much. And, and, and that's one thing about the gang culture. Another thing that, that might not be spoken on enough, you know what I mean? Because that's a problem. That's really a problem. We allow so many homies to get faded like that. And they just, like, bro, just fall off. Like, man, come on. I mean, to the point, I remember, I remember stories about some niggas I knew way back. Niggas to get faded and fall out and shit on itself, you know? Real shit, like nigga being passed out on the bed and shit and shit it on itself. You know, and they're like, man, nigga, you still drinking like that? You know, you can drink and like, you know, but man, don't drink and do stupid ass shit like that. You know what I mean? I know that's, I mean, the alcohol is courage juice or whatever, but still, a lot of us is out here doing a lot of stupid ass shit off liquor. A lot of us need to check ourselves. Notice I say not just y'all, but I say us because of functioning like that. We all got to do it, bro. We all got to check ourselves, man. That's why I say it's, it's harder. It's always harder to coach yourself. It's, it's easy to coach everybody else, but harder to coach yourself, teach yourself. You know what I mean? We, that's what we got to do, man. We, we men, we women, we got to be able to pull ourselves together and no one to say, no, nah, I'm cool. Because I, I don't want to be the fool. I don't want to be the nigga who done passed out all on the floor and shit, got drunk over here. Like, this nigga can't control this liquor. This, oh, uh, cuz, we got to carry the homie home again. I ain't never been that, nigga. You know what I mean? I got homies that's been that niggas that I love to this day, but I don't ever want to be that. You know what I'm saying? Especially at this age, but even when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Y'all shouldn't want to be that either. You get faded, man. You get faded at the house somewhere where you cool. You got to be out there and shit where niggas got to carry you home and shit. You in the backseat of the homie's car again. Nigga, you can't drive your own car because you didn't got so faded. You that faded, you supposed to keep your ass at home. That's all I'm saying. But we got to control ourselves with this liquor, y'all. We have to and these drugs and shit like that. Because once again, we, we living, we got people that love us. We got to stop being selfish. We got people that love us. We got people that love us. 
family members, kids, all that. We can't be making these stupid ass decisions. We gotta tighten up. We gotta tighten up. Yeah. We gotta tighten up. We gotta get ourselves together because if ourselves ain't together, how in the hell are we gonna get somebody else together? How can we get communities together? If we ain't got ourselves together, how can we get anything else together? I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Like I said before, each day is a new day. Let's run that shit back. Laker Nation.